My name is Michael Gaywood and welcome to Digital Essentials. This particular technique that I'm going to be teaching is called the Alpha Channel Mask. What we're going to do is an advanced selection around flyaway hair. What we're going to do is we're going to use an image with high contrast and be able to do an advanced selection that goes all the way around the hair, around all the different areas, nose, eyelashes, and allows me to be able to knock out the background to be able to put that person into a new background. Very important. This is good for video, for print, even web. So I'm going to show you this technique, the Alpha Channel Mask. The first thing is we're going to go and find an image. Now we're in the bridge and what I'm going to do is double click on the image and bring it into Photoshop. Now I have a white background and at first everyone thinks you can probably go with the magic wand and click on the background and get a selection. Well, not really. Not a detailed selection. Not one we can control. So I'm going to go Command D, that is deselect. And I'm going to try another way to do this. Now first of all, let's bring our layers panel up so we can see it. And let's go into image, image size and check our resolution. We have a high resolution image, 300 pixels per inch, and a 6 by 10. I'm going to go in here and click OK. We also see that this is a JPEG. Not the best quality, but definitely something we can work with. And we are in RGB mode. This is an 8-bit image. Now, what I want to do is I want to go in here and double click on the layer. Give it a quick name. And click OK. Now I have a, well, a transparent layer, one where I can cut and get transparency. I'm going to pull channels up so that we can see that. And I see that I'm in RGB mode. Now take a look at this. We've got red, we've got green, and we've got blue. What we're looking for is we're looking for the most contrast between the foreground and the background. So, what I'd like to do is take a look at this. The blue channel has the most contrast. And if we even go in here, here to Image, Calculations, we can actually increase that contrast. And, well, now we have contrast. Let's click OK. And we have an Alpha 1, or an Alpha Channel Mask. Let me zoom in so you can see that. That's a combination of the blue and blue channel using calculations to create the alpha channel one or alpha one channel. Now I've got great contrast in here but I need to fill this in solid black the most amount of contrast that I can get away with and what I'm going to do is go with the polygonal lasso tool. Now going in here we're going into this selection but I see in fact I'm going to hit delete to go back a step where I need to zoom in. Command plus sign to zoom in and allows me to take a look and delete to go back the steps I need to get closely around this blouse. Perfect. I've got about a three pixel feather. If you look towards the top you'll see the amount of feather that I have and spacebar to get the hand tool to be able to move the image around. Very nice. All the way up here, spacebar, click and drag, and I can get around this graphic. Again, spacebar to move the file around, get where I need, spacebar. You can see as we've zoomed in how many fine hairs are in this particular design. So we're going to go all the way around bring this graphic over and you're going to see that I'm going to get around the hair all the way around the skin and over right around the eye. Spacebar. That is the hotkey to be able to keep going into the hand tool and be able to get this selected. Alright. Here we go, all the way around, and over. Perfect. Now, you're going to notice that I don't go very close around the skin. Nice. Over here. And 
I stay within the image area. Now I'm sliding back to get to the starting point. The starting point is going to allow me to be able to close this selection, double click on the hand tool for, for a full workspace, and then I see that I can fill. I'm going to toggle and go with my foreground color and go Alt Delete, and that's filled with foreground color and Control D as Deselect. Now, I see that I've got great contrast in here. I'm going to move these panels out of the way. And I'm going to start using the Dodge and Burn tool. The Dodge tool, going to Highlights, can, you can very quickly see that I'm dodging out all the way around this image. Beautiful. And I'm going up here and making sure that this background is solid black. Nice. Now, we're going to go to the Burn tool. The Burn tool darkens and we're going to go around this image and make sure that we have great contrast all the way around this file and highlight. Perfect. You're going to see that what we have looks exactly like a knockout going back and forth with the Dodge and Burn tool to get exactly the amount of selection that's going to benefit our design. Great. Nice. Now, I'm going to go Command-I, and that is inverse. Wipe reveals black conceals in a mask, and we see that by going Command-I, we can inverse the selection. I want to show you a little magic icon. If I slide down here, it's a perforated circle. The icon all the way to the left-hand side and if you click on it, it will load your alpha channel mask as a selection. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do, since I have a great selection, is go in here and go back into the layers and see that I have a selection around my model. Now what I'd like to do is go and grab another image. Let's go into the bridge to do that. Find the right file. And I think we've got this one right here. Perfect. One thing that you definitely want to do is you want to go to image size and you want to make sure that your resolution matches. So let's uncheck resample and put in 300 for our res and they will match. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is take my selection and put it into the new one. If you lose one of your images, simply go to this icon to arrange documents and look for one to be able to select and see both open documents. I'm going to click, drag, and drop. There we go. Double click on the hand tool. And also, let's close this document with our young model. I didn't save, but if I did, I would have saved the alpha channel mask. Control T or Command T is edit free transform. Add a zero to it and it expands out to be able to get to all of your handlebars to be able to change the size. Here we go. Now what we've got is we've got our young model in front of a new landscape. Hold down the command key and click on this icon within the later stack. And let me zoom in. Hold down the command you get a perforated box. Click and you load selection. Go to any selection tool and you're going to find Refine Edge. Refine Edge allows us to look and actually go to some new features in CS5 such as Smart Radius to be able to come in off of that and even go with Decontaminate to be able to kind of go around the edge and simply remove contaminated pixels. This is a great way to make your edges look real. A little smooth, a little more contrast, and all of a sudden we've got a great selection and fantastic edges. I'm going to go in here, click OK. Perfect. And that is an alpha channel mask. Thank you for watching.